What we have here is a popular demonstration in electrostatics known as Franklin's Bells. And it's just that. It's two brass bells on insulating rods with a small wooden ball suspended by a thread between them. Now watch what happens as I crank the Wimshurst machine. As the bells are charged, the ball is attracted to the first bell. When it hits the first bell, it takes on the charge of that bell and is then thus repelled and swings across to the other bell where the process is repeated. And these bells will continue to ring until the charge in the two Leyden jars is completely exhausted. Now, old Ben did not have a Wimshurst machine. Wimshurst machines came about a hundred years after Ben Franklin was doing his experiments. What Ben did was he connected one bell to a lightning rod on the roof of his house and the other bell to ground. So when electrical storms moved into the area, the ball would start to bounce back and forth, ringing the bells and alerting Ben that it was time to gather his kite flying equipment for his famous experiments.